Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a full face of top rated drugstore makeup. Many of the products I'll be using in this video have been favorites of mine for a really long time, but there are a few that I did go out and purchase specifically for this video. And how I decided what products to choose was I went to both the Ulta website and the Walmart websites and I entered in the category, say it was foundation or concealer or mascara, and then I filtered by top rated. And I looked for the top rated products that had a lot of reviews. I didn't choose something that had five stars or four and a half stars, but only like five reviews. I went for the products that had five stars or nearly five stars with hundreds or thousands of reviews. So these really should be the best of the best. Before I get started, I do have to say one thing, and if you don't want to hear this part, feel free to fast forward, tap the screen and go 10 seconds at a time, or just move the little bar over and get to the start of the tutorial. I will put a timestamp on the screen. I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who commented on my community tab post from the other day. If you did not see it, I talked about how I was not going to have a video up on Monday. I try to upload videos on Mondays and Thursdays, and I was unable to record a video on Sunday because my tinnitus, tinnitus, that's actually the correct pronunciation, was really acting up. I had not only ringing in my left ear, which I've had for more than a year, but I also had ringing in my right that was extremely loud and my ear was completely clogged. I could not hear out of it. So of course it freaked me out and I got upset and I just knew I couldn't film because I, I really just couldn't even hear and that was really scary. So I did post about it on my community tab and oh my goodness, I'm gonna try not to cry, but the outpouring of support and prayers and um, just recommendations for treatments was overwhelming and I appreciate it so much. But it was also really sad and disheartening to see that so many people also suffer with tinnitus or someone they love suffers or has been suffering for years and we've all been told the same thing. We just have to live with it or find different ways to cope. And um, I do really feel for all of you and I can't say enough how much I appreciate the support. I've been reading every single comment. I've been taking notes on what you guys are suggesting. Um, Obviously, I'm, I'm feeling better. My ear, the ringing is always going to be there. And as I said in my post, I just sort of live with it. I just push through, as most of us do. But the fact that it was completely clogged and that this side has started ringing, the ringing is still there, but not nearly as loud as it was yesterday. And I can actually hear out of it today. I am still going to contact an acupuncturist. I will probably make the call after I finish filming this video because it's pretty early. And I, as I said, have written down all of the things that people have told me worked for them or others. So once again, thank you so much. And filming videos, you probably didn't think I'd be putting up a new video so soon, but um, it was really, it was just yesterday. I was in my head and the fact that my ear was clogged, I just couldn't get myself to film. But honestly, filming and playing with makeup does take my mind off of the ringing and it makes me happy to play with makeup and to share my thoughts and opinions on products and teach my techniques to my viewers. If it didn't make me happy, if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't do it. And yeah, this just, it makes me happy and takes my mind off things. But I just couldn't start filming another video without giving you all a very heartfelt thank you. Let's get all right, I've got you all zoomed in, so let's get started. The foundation I am going to use today is the L'Oreal True Match Nude. This foundation has 1,241 reviews on Ulta's website and almost five stars. Now I've gotta be honest with you. I have tried this foundation. I tried it when it first came out and went viral. I, like many people, struggled to find it. I went to two different targets trying to find my shade. I ended up purchasing shade 3-4, which was a little bit dark for me. This is shade 2-3, light 2-3. The 3-4 not only was dark, but it also oxidized on me. I did not like this foundation on my oily skin. A lot of people compared it to Armani Luminous Silk, and I completely disagreed. I still disagree. Armani Luminous Silk gives me just a flawless, medium, buildable to full coverage. 
even though it doesn't last all day on me, it didn't disappear on my skin like this one did, I had no luck with this foundation. So you might be wondering, why the heck are you using it then? Well, I'm giving it another chance. I was able to purchase one shade lighter than what I had, so maybe this will work better. And I also purchased a really highly rated primer, this L'Oreal Infallible Matte Luck. This is obviously a mattifying primer and the reviews were amazing for it. So I'm thinking that maybe if I wear these two together, I'll have better luck. So this has a squeeze tube. I've never used this before. This is one of those products I mentioned that I went out and purchased specifically for this video. The tube reminds me of the Makeup Forever primers. It's a little bit bigger though, I think. So this primer is supposed to smooth and refine, blur imperfections, and leave a matte finish. My face is definitely matte. Now I'm going to add back in some glow with this foundation. Hopefully this color is better for me and hopefully it doesn't oxidize. Today I'm going to use my BK Beauty 106 brush. Put a couple drops on there. And yes, this shade is much better than the um, light 3-4. I think the finish is really nice, but to me it does not give me the same coverage right away that the Armani does. I can see why a lot of people would like this foundation because the finish is nice and if you already have really good skin, you don't have a lot to cover, this is a good coverage level for you. And I suppose what I could do is put a concealer on my dark spots first and then apply this foundation over it. However, my complaint about this foundation isn't even so much the coverage or in my opinion, lack thereof. It's the fact that it didn't stay. What coverage I got didn't last. I know I'm supposed to be sitting here talking about, you know, high rated products. And this is extremely highly rated. Clearly I am in the minority. Maybe my opinion will change after today. We'll see. It does look really natural, I'll give it that. I am having to kind of go back in and keep adding more. I don't feel like I'm using a lot, but maybe I am. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Getting the correct color in a foundation can really make or break how you feel about a foundation overall. If you get the wrong color, it throws everything off. It throws your entire makeup look off. Hmm, I am liking it over this primer. I feel like it looks pretty good. I am gonna take a sponge though and sort of pat out. Sometimes with a brush, your foundation can look streaky, or at least mine does. I have to say, I do like the way this is looking. This primer may be the answer to getting this foundation to work on oily skin. All right, moving on to concealer. This L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, people just seem to love it. A lot of people seem to compare this to Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer. So if you don't like Tarte's Shape Tape, I have a feeling you won't like this one either. I'm going to apply a little bit right here. By the way, all of the products and the shade names will be down below in the description box, as well as the links, of course. It does feel a lot like Tarte Shape Tape, and ooh, I may have gotten too light of a color. Maybe not, I do like sort of a bright under eye, and I'm putting a little bit on my lid because I completely forgot to buy a top rated primer, a top rated eyeshadow primer that is. So, it's looking a little bit dry on my lid, and it doesn't spread as easily as the shape tape. So yeah, my lid looks a little dry, but the under eye looks pretty good. You can definitely see a difference. I think this is the shade Oatmeal. I'm gonna use a little bit less on this side. My circles aren't quite as bad on this side either. Well, I started off by saying that I thought this concealer was too light, but now I think it's looking pretty good. 
Okay, I'm gonna leave my face alone for now and move on to my brows. So the top rated brow pencil I'm going to be using is this one from NYX. It is the Micro Brow Pencil. I'm using the shade Ash Brown and I'm brushing up the hairs. I start by going underneath the brow and carving out the shape and then feathering in some hair-like strokes. I would definitely say that this brow pencil is very, very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Is. There really is no need to spend the money on that pencil when this one is so good. And next I'm taking another top rated brow product from NYX. This is the Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in Blonde. So once again, if you've been using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the Anastasia Brow Tint Pen, switch them out for these next time. They are just as good. And for my eye look, I will be using the Nudes of New York from Maybelline. This is honestly one of the most impressive drugstore palettes I've ever used. For this look, I am using my tape. This is just regular old scotch tape that I put on the back of my hand first to get off any excess stickiness. And if you've watched my tutorials in the past, I do use this tape trick a lot because I do have hooded eyes that turn down on the corners, so the tape helps guide me to give them a more lifted appearance. I'm starting with the shade creator, and I'm putting this all over my lid, mostly in the crease, but also on my lid. And as you can see, I am applying this with my eyes open and looking straight into the mirror. And I'm going a little bit higher than my natural crease. If my eyes weren't hooded, my crease would be right here. So I'm putting the color in there, but then I'm also taking it a little bit higher. And then the tape is helping me wing it out towards my temple. And with my hooded eyes, where you can see that I have quite a bit of flesh on the inner corner, I like to make sure I get the shadow right in there so it helps recede the fold a little bit. Now I'm going in with a smaller crease brush. This is a Samey Beauty 2.5, and I'm using the shade Explorer, tapping off the excess, and once again, going right in that crease, except this time I'm not going any higher. I'm keeping it right here. And I'm going back in with that first brush I used. This is a Morphe Makeup by Ariel collab brush. Now I'm going in with a flat shader brush, taking the shade Artist, it's just a matte ivory, and I'm popping that underneath my brow. And now with a Samey Beauty 2.6 brush, which is just a small flat shader brush, I'm using the shade Voyager, tapping in and then tapping off the excess. And then just using that sort of as my liner right here on the outer corners. But then I'm also patting it into the fold where my hood is. And then I'm just going to use my finger to sort of blend it out. And I'm just kind of going back and forth and really winging it and smoking it out. Of course, you don't need to make it this dramatic. I'm just feeling the drama today, I guess. I'm not even really hearing the ringing at all in this ear at the moment because I'm taking my mind off of it. Or I'm distracted, should I say. 
Again, going back in and blending. And now I can gently remove the tape. And sometimes what I'll need to do is to go back in with my sponge and touch up this area. Now for my lid, I'm going to take this soft gold shade called Inspirer, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger and pat it on my lid. And put my chin up so I can see my entire lid space. Just gently pat that on the inner third to half of my lid, trying not to cover where I did the brown smoky liner. All right, now I'm using a Refer Brush 03, and I'm going into that shade Explorer, which was the second shade we used in the crease, and I'm just running this along my lower lash lines. And then I'm taking this flat shader brush from the Morphe Makeup by Ariel collection and going into that same gold that we used on the lid, and I'm popping that even lower than the first shade. All right, the eyes are almost done. I'm going to move on to a newer product that actually did have a lot of reviews for being a newer product. I have used this already and I agree. It's a very, very nice liquid eyeliner. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lash Enhancing liquid liner. I really like the applicator on this. It's not too long, it's not too short, it's not too flimsy, you can control it pretty easily. It's a nice dark black and it's matte. I'm not making a large wing here, I'm just sort of making a baby wing on the outer corners. And now I'm going back in with the shade Voyager and Adding a little bit more to those outer corners. I'm kind of intentionally getting rid of the little wing I made. I don't really love it. I want this to kind of be just more smoky. All right, the eyes are pretty much done, so it's time for mascara. For mascara, I'm using the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. Since I'm not doing any cream contour, I can go ahead and set my face with powder. I'm going back to the Maybelline Fit Me, and I'm just setting under my eyes and through my T-zone. So as I mentioned, I'm not using any cream contour today, but I am going to bronze and lightly contour with the very highly rated Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. I take a big fluffy It Cosmetics brush. Oh, this smells so good. So as you can see, I am sort of using this as contour. And bronzing. What a nice, color. I have another one of these butter bronzers but in a darker shade, a much darker shade. This is perfect. It just says bronzer on the back. It doesn't say anything else. What a perfect bronzer shade for light skin. I think I'm discovering some new drugstore favorites right now. All right, my blush will come as a surprise to no one. I love Milani baked blushes. Today I'm using one I haven't used in a while. This is Berry Amour. How in the world I forgot about highlighter? I will never know. Hopefully I already have a top rated highlighter in my stash. I do have the Milani Stellar Lights palette. It has over 740 reviews with almost five stars. I do love that palette. This is what it looks like. Very, very beautiful. 
And I am going to go and actually I'm going to tap my brush into all three shades. Why not? And just dust that on my cheekbones. Look how pretty. I'm also going to put a little bit of the lightest shade in my tear ducts. And a little bit under my brows because why not? I am going to pop on some little corner lashes. They are actually the Salon Perfect 614s that I cut more than just in half. I'm only using the first four segments of the lash and putting it on the outer corners of my eyes. You can see it's teeny tiny. So that just gives a little lift at the outer corners. And now I just need to do some lips. Starting with the NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Nude Beige. And I'm using the Soft Matte Lip Cream in London, also from NYX. And topping it off with the Butter Gloss in Madeline. All right, the look is complete, and I really do like the way everything is looking, even the foundation. I may have changed my mind about it. Aside from that, there's really not much more to say. As I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, most of these products have been favorites of mine for a long time, and they are highly rated for a good reason. They are just really, really excellent quality. The eyeshadow palette that I used, the blush, the bronzer, the brow products, the lip products, everything honestly is just as good as a lot of the high-end products that I use. Does this mean that I'm going to completely stop purchasing high-end or luxury makeup? No, of course not. I love all makeup no matter what the price point is. I do these videos to assure those of you who either can't afford the high-end or luxury products or just simply don't want to spend that much, you can achieve a beautiful, professional-looking makeup application using affordable products. As always, if you did enjoy this video, I really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, I hope you will consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the Risa Does Makeup family. I do upload new content at least twice per week. You can also find more content from me on Instagram and on TikTok under the same username, Risa Does Makeup. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.